Hey everybody, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a good day out there today. I am back with another real quick video and I wanted to talk to y'all about this Northwest and the Lion King shenanigans because y'all mean to tell me out of all the talented kids out there, y'all decided to get Northwest because of why? But before we get into that, I'm gonna need for y'all to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video. Make sure you like up the video, be active in those comments, and share, share, share my videos with everybody you can. So yeah, let's get into it. Three-year-old Northwest, the daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, alongside Jennifer Hudson, were special guests in the Lion King out there at the Hollywood Bowl over the Memorial Day weekend. Now, it is the 30th anniversary of The Lion King, which is one of my favorite childhood movies. My favorite song from The Lion King is Akuna Matata. Like, how can you not like Akuna Matata, okay? It's a problem free philosophy, Akuna Matata. That's my favorite part. Akuna Matata. Ta, ta. I don't know why I like that part, but that part just give me life. Now I know some of y'all are a little shocked out there because y'all didn't know y'all girl had a little voice. I think y'all didn't know girl had a little voice. Now tell me why out of all the characters that Northwest could have been, they decided to cast her as Simba. I honestly feel like the production team really messed up on this one and it was giving more so that they wanted to put asses in seats and that they didn't really care about the talent at all. Now let's skip on over here to Kim and Kanye because I honestly feel like this is what happens to people when they're so busy trying to keep up with the Knowles and the Carters instead of the Kardashians and the Westons. Because for them to be sitting on all that money, as quick as they got her into this, they couldn't go to a costume store or find an appropriate lion costume for this event. Y'all had that little girl up there like she was going to a slumber party. Now the outfit that North had on was very much so her. Because anytime we do see North, she always have on these oversized baggy clothes. So she brought that same look to the stage. It was yellow everything. She had on this oversized yellow hoodie that had fox fur around it. Oversized yellow shorts with these oversized fox fur slippers. I don't know. To me, it just seems like they forgot the original costume and they ran out and got what they could find and made it work. But according to the blogs, they're saying that Northwest and Jennifer Hudson, along with a few other guest celebrities that were there, they used outside sources to design their costumes and not the production team's designers. Now, y'all know the internet does not hold back and they will call a spade a spade in a minute. And they were very quick to call this situation right here nepotism. And after seeing the entire video, it was very hard to disagree with them. Now, Jason Weaver was the one that had brought Northwest out to perform Just Can't Wait to Be King. And for those of y'all who don't know or forgot, remember Jason Weaver was the singing voice for Simba in the original Lion King. Now, before we move on, we're gonna stop right here and pause on Mr. Jason Weaver real quick. Because y'all know they had to bring the original singing voice of Simba out for the 30th anniversary of the Lion King, okay? And I just think that a lot of people really don't understand how much of a legend Jason Weaver is. Back in the day, Jason Weaver used to be that dude and the fact that he is still that dude and still blessing our TV screens to this day. That was Smart Guy's brother. That was little Michael Jackson. That was, and you're up all over me, and only one call away, and you was that lady. The man was an amazing singer. He was an amazing actor, and he is still all of that today. And let me just tell y'all, if y'all did not see the clip of him and the voices of Timon and Pumbaa performing at the Hollywood Bowl, Y'all need to go ahead and go down to that description box what you're doing with this video and go check that out because I will be leaving it down there below because he did a damn good job, him, Timon, and Pumbaa. Now, Jason Weaver did take to his Instagram and posted a picture of him in North and said that it was an honor working with her and that doing a great job and she should keep going. I took that as he saw what y'all was saying on the internet and he basically telling y'all, leave that little girl alone. Just like when kids bring us these pictures that they draw, and we know the picture ain't all that, but we gonna tell our baby, you did a good job. It's a pretty picture. Thank you. And I just commend him for that, for not following. And I just commend him for that, for the simple fact is, it could have been, 
it would have been real easy for him to get online and start bashing that little girl parents and the casting director, but he did not do that. And that's the type of adulting we need out here in these world for these kids. Now let's get back to North. Now the performance in my opinion was very lackluster and I don't fault Northwest at all. I blame the mammy and the pappy for the simple fact is they knew damn well that that baby did not deserve to be on that stage without the proper training or proper coaching. Now what I'm not gonna do is, is sit up here and act like Kim and Kanye are the only ones at fault because they're not. I also blame the casting director for the simple fact is, is that that casting director had every right in the book to say no, but they chose not to. And it showed. And I honestly feel as though that along with the talented kids who didn't get to play Simba, who auditioned for it and worked their ass off, I feel as though Northwest was also robbed by her parents and by the casting director. I sat there and watched this video so many times to the point where I started ignoring what everybody on the internet is criticizing this baby for and started paying attention as to how much her confidence level was depleting on that stage. Now, regardless of how I may feel about Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, Northwest is a beautiful little girl who has the potential to be somebody outside of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's daughter. And I just hate the fact that her parents didn't put in the time or effort to get this baby the proper coach, the proper training, in order for this baby to execute this role. This was not some low budget production. This was the 30th anniversary of The Lion King. That is a Disney classic. Do you know how many people like myself still enjoy that movie to this day? We do not play about The Lion King, okay? We do not play about The Lion King. So I think it's just fucked up that they robbed that baby the way they did her. And then on top of that, not only did y'all rob that baby? Y'all robbed the people that spent on three to four thousand dollars to come see that shit. That's a lot of damn money. Do you know what I could do with three thousand to four thousand dollars? I pay my rent a couple of times. A couple of times. And one more thing before I go. Y'all mean to tell me that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West could be out here getting shit custom made for themselves all the time, but they couldn't take the time out to find a designer that could have whipped together a customized lion suit for Northwest? But okay, drop y'all comments down below and let me know what y'all think and I'll see y'all in the next one. And Akuna Matata, bitch.